three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Way of the Samurai 4 for the PlayStation 3. We somehow managed to get through the battle. So now there's a bunch of corpses around and you can loot them by kicking them. But be careful if a constable sees you, they will uh, arrest you. And this guy will interrupt you about saving. Basically, these photo photographers are around the city, and if you let them take your picture, it'll save the game. Sort of like the uh, Biwa players in Way of the Samurai 3. Anyways, I'm just looting these corpses. Hopefully, we've got... Yeah, we've got two onigiri. We need uh, two onigiri for a mission. So, um... If you somehow didn't get uh, two onigiri, this guy right here will sell you some for 100 yen each. And you can, of course, sell all the blunt swords you got if you want to. Or keep them, it's up to you. Uh, the reason you might want to keep them, I'll explain later. But anyways, the ambassador invited us to the consulate. So let's stop there. Little Britain sounds like the place to go, so let's head there and see what we find out. Hmm. Ooh, tracks. Is there going to be a train coming? Ooh, a carriage! Sweet! Whoa! <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, there's carriages, huh? Don't think you see them elsewhere in the city, though. Let's see what's down here. It looks like a little shanty town. Uh, this guy isn't that useful unless you die. <laughs> Um, he'll actually uh, sell items that were on your person if you die and you save the game and start over he'll have the items that were on you this guy let's talk to him and... Ooh, king of the homeless huh I'm sick of life Ooh, a free mushroom Ooh, a free mushroom. That's good for raising your uh, spring harvest gauge. Let's talk to him again. Ooh, a change in scen scenery. An errand, huh? Ooh, gotta take an onigiri to his hungry friend. I can do that. Sounds like the horse hit somebody up there. Yeah, the NPCs are dumb. They'll go on the tracks like I did and get hit. funny to sit there and watch them sometimes. Ooh, these guards got guns. And yes, those are our actual guns. They will shoot you. Let's see, this is the consulate. Isn't that Melinda? Alright, looks like we found the place, so yes please. あ、あえて嬉しい。ようこそお越しくださいました。あなたのこと待っていたのですよ。私は英国講師として日本と英国の友好関係を築くために参りました。交流を深めることがお互いの利益になり、ひいては日本の発展に寄与する。そうですか？
この町はとても物騒で上位獅子がいつ襲ってくるかと思うと安心して外を歩くこともできませんよろしければ私たちを護衛していただけないでしょうかボフたちの味方につくことは君にとっても損のない話だよなんせイギリスは太陽の沈まぬ帝国博士で言うなら鉄板の大本命ってやつさ Hmm, looks like they want to hire me as a bodyguard, huh? Meeting her in front of the consulate this evening. Hmm, sounds like a job. And in case you're wondering, yes, I'm going the foreigner path, which is basically with these people here, so I'm going to go to the consulate this evening. Also, since we viewed an event, time will now pass forward. There's actually a Three phases of time in a day. There's the、uh, midday, evening, and night. So now that we've seen an event, it'll advance from midday till evening. But before that, let's go to the back roads and turn in these, this onigiri for gramps. We had to deliver an onigiri to gramps' friend here. Interesting. We seem to、uh, start a little bit ahead of the map line. I always run past this place, and in case you're wondering, yes, that is Sensei. And yes, you can kill her for your sword if you want, if you got the skill to do it. I wouldn't recommend trying it. And this guy is the guy we're looking for, you can tell because his name is Green. Only got one on a g i r i Which is why you should have two on a g i r i I think you might be able to complete it、uh, another way, but I just prefer to do that. It's a lot quicker. And now, let's go make a sword. Or. There's a specific kind of sword that I want to make since we're starting out the game. It really makes things a lot easier. You can see there's the blacksmith, smithy, right all the way down here. And hmm, this guy isn't Dojima. Did they take Dojima out of the game? Well, we'll find out later, but. Anyways, forge. Refine will upgrade your weapon up to maximum degradation. Degradation is like the quality of the later way of the samurai or earlier way of the samurai games. So basically, refine will improve it up to 9 out of 9 degradation, for example, for this blade.、Um, there's two ways to, to improve it make it stronger. Or make it harder. Stronger increases the strength, which increases the damage. Making it harder increases the durability so it doesn't break. Polish will actually restore the durability so if it does break or get damaged or is running low on durability, you can fix that right up and it doesn't take degradation away. See, watch, I'll polish it here. And now it's max. Okay, now to make the specific sword we want. Also, wait a minute, let me go over the options first. I'm getting ahead of myself.、Uh, recast is how you upgrade past、uh, 9 of 9. So if I'm going to go 10 of 9, I would, have to, I would have to use iron ore in order to upgrade it. Now, the thing is, when you refine a weapon, the more times you refine it, the more it costs. Recast. Costs the same amount of yen, but has an increasing iron cost. So it costs more iron to upgrade the higher you go. Up to, 
I'm not sure if there's a maximum. Um, I have a sword that's like a 20 of 10 and it takes quite a bit, like 50 or so to upgrade it. So that's a lot of work. A praise is how you get titles, like in the earlier way of the Samurai games. There's different titles that give you different effects. And Extract is new to this way of the Samurai. It basically takes a sword and it melts it down into iron ore. That's how you get the iron ore, is by melting swords. And finally, we can create swords, and that's free as well. Now, the specific kind of sword I want to make is called a life and death blade. See that what that spear guard right there has a charm that says life and death? Well, as you can see, there's three different slots for charms on this blade that doesn't have any. And the charms are randomized every time you open the buy screen. Now, basically, what we want to do is get a specific formation of charms. I'm going to put a uh, graphic up on the screen, I suppose. I'll have to make that and put it up. But basically, we have to line the charms up vertically. You can, As you can imagine, there's three different parts. Uh, the top part is the blade. The middle part is the guard. And the lower part is the grip. And uh, if you manage to line up three life and death charms, either vertically or diagonally, you will get the life and death charm on the weapon. Now, having this charm on the weapon will give it like a magical effect. Well, I call it magic, but you know, it's basically an additional effect. Uh, life and death causes you to regenerate your vitality. Your vitality is your purple bar. But you may notice I don't have any purple bar because, well, I don't have a life and death weapon. I'm going to make one because, like, as I said, oh, wait a minute, he mentioned he's closing the shop. And there's Dojima's name. Find Dojima and try to convince him to return to the smithy. That's basically your mission. Okay, now see, every time you go to the buy, see it has a big shot, charm, close it down, reopen it, and now it has medicine fortune. We need to get uh, the charms in a certain formation, and I'll show you the graphic again, We, or actually I can show you... Um, the parts I made because I recorded this earlier. I'm using multiple clips here. Anyways, um, basically we need uh, a blade with life and death let on the left and right charm slots, a grip with life and death in the left and right charm slots, and a guard with life and death two in a row, either middle and left or middle and right. I'll show you what that makes on the uh, clip. Alright, as you can see, we got the reverse K formation of life and death charms. So let's make this and let's name it... Since my YouTube name is Sephiroth's Awakening, Let's name this sword Livestream. Yeah, that's what Eris said. Alright, and since this is from a another file, well basically same file, but a different point, you can see I have no vitality. Now watch me equip the sword here, the Livestream, and bam, shoots right up. And this makes the game a whole lot easier, so I definitely recommend the first thing you do is do Gramps' quest and then make that sword. Alright, see you guys next time.